Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will show you how you can create a copilot for SharePoint. So I'm in my SharePoint site and I have one copilot sitting on a SharePoint page. This copilot is connected to my SharePoint document library and in that library I have different documents and this copilot is going to go into those documents, find the information that I'm asking it and provide me the response. So I'm going to ask a question to this copilot what is the maximum file size I can upload in SharePoint? The documents that I have, I know this information exists in one of the document. And let's see if this copilot can find that information for me. Here you go. So copilot went inside this document. It, there is a PowerPoint that I have that has this information. It extracted that information and presented that information for me. Another question I'm going to ask about Power Platform Manage Environment. So I'm going to ask this question, key takeaways of managed environment that we deployed by a Power Platforms pipeline. So this copilot has actually went inside those document, give me all the information that I need, and I also have a link to document that I that I can open. Very interested? So if you want to build something like this, stay tuned. I will walk you through step by step how you can build copilot like this. Also, I'm going to show you how you can use the same copilot in Microsoft Teams. Stay tuned. Welcome back. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and let's start. So the first thing that we need to build the copilot you need to go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com. If you don't know much about Copilot Studio, then make sure that you watch my other video on Copilot Studio. The link will be in description. Okay, so I am in my Copilot Studio, and as you know, these are the different Copilot that I have created. We're gonna start from the scratch. So I'm gonna click on New Copilot. This is my SharePoint Copilot, so I'm gonna give the name. And before we go further, let's look at the SharePoint, the documents that I have and the location of those documents. Okay, so this is my SharePoint site. I have a document library that's called my documents. Okay, and it has many documents, right? And these documents can be anything that you have. Make sure that those documents are either Word document, PowerPoints and PDFs. I'm going to copy this URL of my library. Now you have multiple options. You can use the URL of the document library or you can just put the URL of your SharePoint site. The difference is going to be if you put the SharePoint site, the, your copilot will look everywhere in your SharePoint. So if you have more than one document library, it will look into those and try to extract the information. If you just put the link to this specific document library, it's going to just look into that. For my case, I'm going to just put the URL. Okay, I want the copilot to go across my SharePoint and bring the information that I'm asking. Click create. Okay, so the copilot is ready. Now we're going to go to the generative AI section and make sure that this last option is enabled. Okay, it's important. You need to make sure that you do that. The next thing we do, we will go to the topics and plugins, go to the systems, and you have one topic called conversational boosting. Now, why I'm using it? Because I don't want to define the question that users should ask for this copilot to start looking into it. So this conversational boosting topic is on unknown intent. That means I'm just typing whatever I need to type. And if I do so, this particular topic will trigger. So I'm gonna click on that, it will open up. And if you look at the data source, our SharePoint should be already there, what we have added. So that's all good. But this is where a little work that you need to do. So if you look at the topic checker, you will see that there is an error, authentication not enabled, okay? So whenever you are working with SharePoint, you need to make sure that you have the authentication set up. Otherwise, this copilot will not work. So, so enable the authentication, you need to go to the settings, go to the security, go to the authentication, select manual and this is where you need to get your client id client secret from the azure now if you are not working in the azure do not worry about it this is very standard process 
to get the client and in client secret the reason we are getting it because behind the scene copilot is going to use the graph api and graph api required you to give it permission to look the resources and information depending on the logged in user i'm i'll briefly show you how you can get it but generally most of the cases you can just provide this redirect url to your azure team and ask them to create an app registration for the graph api and give you the client id and client secret okay so to set up the authentication and get the client id and client secret from azure there are a couple of documentation from microsoft that you can refer i'm going to put them in the comment section so you can read it the first one is what kind of permission that you want to give so that graph api have the right permission to access and then this document is going to talk about step by step how you can create and get the client id and client secret now again if you are not working in the azure team you can definitely ask your azure team and they should be able to give you these these information but we're going to have a quick look how to do it and then we will go back to our copilot so if you have access to azure and you have permissions to create app registration you can go to portal.azure.com go to app registration this is where you register your app click on the new registration right give the name and then you can select the options that who should be accessing this api generally this is the first one so entire organization okay then we have the redirect url if you go back to the copilot and look at the authentication we have a redirect url so copy that go back to here and then paste okay click register so this way you can start and your app registration is started you got the some of the information like client id but secret you won't get it okay once you are on this page you will click on the certificate and secret new client secret enter the name and this name can be anything okay and then you need to set the expiry when this secret will expire because this is for the security secret has to expire i'm going to set up for two years click add once you done that do not get out from this page make sure that you copy this entire information and save it somewhere so that you can use it okay so now we have the secret and we also have the client id this is the application id i'm going to copy the client id go back to our security paste the client id here in client in the secret and certificate copy the value of the secret come back here paste it that here okay and everything can remain the same okay so once we provide the client id and client secret we also need to make sure that the app registration that we are making for the graph api the graph api has the right permissions so that it can look to the sharepoint files and other sites okay so go back to the azure and this time we're going to go to api permissions and we are going to add some permissions here what permissions are we adding site read dot all and files read dot all okay and you can also see the setting here in the documentation so click add permission microsoft graph that's what we are doing delegated permission and we're going to start searching what we need here you can select open id profile search for file files file read dot all search for site site read dot all and user dot read click add permissions okay so all of these permissions will be add we also need to make sure that we are granting the consent okay so this part is done let's go back to the copilot now if i go to the topic and go to the setting here i'm still getting this error though i have all the authentication and everything setting the reason we are getting it because once you change the security and authentication setting you need to publish the bot at least once okay so we'll go to the publish click publish okay so after publish let's go to the topic system conversational boosting and no error now for for a reason if you still see the error that authentication error just refresh the page and this error should be go away okay so now we are good to go let's try to test our bot here and there is possibility that once you uh, come to this bot testing you will see a login button over here uh, i already have logged in so i'm not seeing it but once you see the login button click there 
it will give a code that code you need to just paste in the chat so that authentication will happen and why that happen if you go to the setting authentication we have this checkbox require user to sign in so user has to sign at least once that i i have already done so it's not showing here now let's try to ask a question so i'm asking what is the maximum file size i know this information there in one of the document and if you look at the flow it's going into the generative answer and going into this document and if i open this document and this information is going to be somewhere here see so the copilot is going inside that powerpoint extracting the information and showing me here okay let's try another question and again i know because i have the documents this information should be there in my documents that i have in my sharepoint there you go right pretty standard it's connected to the sharepoint it's communicating with the sharepoint i can keep adding more information here and other document library because you remember we use the entire site not just this document library so now what we're going to do we're going to take this and add it to a sharepoint page okay so for that we will go to the publish publish again just in case okay then go to the channels and selecting the custom website we're going to copy this go back to our sharepoint i'm going to create a new page so i can show you okay and this we don't need and we're going to select embed okay and paste the code that we just copied now there are chances that when you do this it may not load this copilot for you so for now let me publish it and then i will show you if you don't see this working how you can make it work so if you get an error once you paste that copilot code go to the settings information view all site settings and here you will see the html field security if you are the site collection admin if you are not then you need to ask your site collection admin to do this for you so html field security and in here you need to add copilotstudio.microsoft.com so you can just type in here copilot.microsoft.com and then click add i already have it once you once you do that then you should be able to see your copilot rendering on your page okay so that is done now you see there's a lot of login button it's just because we are keep refreshing and this is what going to happen because we have that setting that user should log in so user needs to click login once you got the code copy that code and now we have our copilot ready to go now i can ask any question to it there you go so let's ask another question perfect right so we have now copilot sitting on your sharepoint page user can ask any question and it's going to go through into that site collect the information inside the document and give you all the information that you need similarly how we did in sharepoint you can also do this for teams and for teams is pretty straightforward because we already have teams here you just need to select the teams and once you do that open bot this will take you to the teams i'm going to use the web you can also use the teams app and this will take you to the page where you can actually add this bot okay so you will see this see this message here you just need to click on add and this will add this particular copilot into your teams and you can start using it right perfect awesome yeah so this is how you can create your own copilot that can talk to the sharepoint yeah that's it for today i hope this will help you and you will try to create your copilot for sharepoint thank you for watching